productivity growth in Nigeria, the federal government and ALAT have launched the Skill Innovation Program. The initiative will provide over 3 million Nigerians with the essential digital skills to succeed in the global economy. Speaking during the launch of the program at the Banquet Hall of the Presidential Villa, Abuja, on Friday, September 29, 2023, the Vice President, Senator Kashim Shatima, described the skill innovation as a transformative initiative that ushers in a new era of digital empowerment for Nigerians. The VP hinted that the gathering is one of the many to come and an occasion to reassure the nation that President Bola Ahmed Tinubu is fully committed to empowering youths and small business businesses across the country. We're not only fostering economic growth, but also nurturing an environment of creativity, entrepreneurship, and innovation that will catapult our nation to new heights. As you have witnessed, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, this innovation program is not a mere promise. It is a resounding commitment to the Nigerian people. It's in pursuit of this administration's resolve to empower our youth and MSMEs and to create a more inclusive and prosperous Nigeria. We have started work. Today we are translating that commitment into action. And we intend to be your allies in your race to take over the world through your enhanced skills. In his goodwill message, Minister of Communications and Digital Economy Bosu Tijani said President Tinubu's administration will leverage the enthusiasm of youths in the technology space to launch Nigeria as a global power in the sector. Also speaking, Governor Ahmed Ali of Sokoto State pledged the state government's support for the success of the program. On his part, the managing director of Wema Bank, Morufo Seni, commended the passion of the president and vice president for empowering young Nigerians, even as he announced the establishment of skills training centers across 17 states. So Nigeria is on its way to becoming a superpower because technology runs the world and we have the engine to help the world power this new development. This is why this initiative is extremely important. We seek to go on a path of diversification of our economy. We won't be able to do this without technology. As we seek to go on the diversification of our economy, we will not be able to do it with, without young people, which is why I'm standing here in front of you today. The president and his wisdom is choosing me, a young man who has been part of the tech industry, to lead this critical revolution. In our various states, we will ensure that we will provide the facility that the program will require. Our teaming youth that are mostly fun, ideal, and unproductive will be gainfully employed, especially in the area of ICT. Over the next few weeks, we will work with Lagos and Borno states to set up the first two hubs. Subsequently, we will work with six more states to roll out more hubs as part of phase one. We will roll out to seven other states in phase two. To get the capacity building and knowledge transfer process going, applications will be opened in the coming days and we are working towards the commencement of virtual training sessions by November 2023. Ultimately, success will be measured by 2 million Nigerian youths and 1 million MSMEs successful, successfully passing through this program. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.